all welcome to my channel simple engineering engineering simplified i am neetu rahul today we are going to see about different types of feedback in control system and some examples of that let's move to the video so different types of types of feedback if we take different types of feedback we have positive feedback as well as negative feedback so positive feedback means in that you have c of s by r of s is equal to g of s by 1 minus g of s and c of s by r of s is equal to g of s by 1 minus g of s h of s this is c of s by r of s is equal to g of s by 1 minus g of s which means this is unity feedback system and this is non unity feedback which means you have a term h of s so that means here in this case in unity feedback you are h of s is equal to 1 and here in the non unity feedback you are h of s is not equal to 1 so if you take your negative feedback system same we have c of s by r of s which is equal to g of s by 1 plus g of s and c of s by r of s is equal to g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s where this is your unity feedback and this is your non unity feedback so unity feedback means you have h of s is equal to 1 and non unity feedback means you have h of s is not equal to 1 so this is your different types of system so next we can consider the closed loop system that is your closed loop control system so you have a g of s which is your g of s block next you have an error detection that is given to g of s so this will be your e of t then you have r of s that is your input and output from the g of s which is equal to your c of s and a portion of that is fed back to the input section so this is your h of s which is your feedback so c of s by r of s is equal to g of s by 1 plus g of s h of s depending upon the types that is 1 plus and 1 minus this this will change that is depending upon your this one this one will change that is 1 minus g of s h of s and 1 plus g of s h of s depending upon the positive feedback or negative feedback which you are using so this is your different types of control system that is negative feedback control system next we can take one example so just consider this is we can take an example one uh question can be a unity impulse response of a system you can take a unity impulse response of a system which is of a unity feedback control system and that is given as c of t is equal to minus t e power minus t plus 2 e power minus t the condition is t greater than or equal to 0 and the open loop 
transfer function which is equal to 2s plus 1 by square. So this condition we can check that is a unity a unit impulse a unit impulse response of a system and the unity feedback control system is given uh, c of t is, is equal to minus t e power minus t plus 2 e power minus t the condition is t greater than or equal to 0 and the open loop transfer function is given as 2 s plus 1 by s square so we have to prove this one so let's check for the solution so how we can solve we know that impulse response is given which is minus t e power minus t plus 2 e power minus t and we have to find closed loop transfer function which is equal to Laplace transform of impulse response which we have studied in our previous lectures. So Laplace transform of IR that is Laplace transform of this one minus t e power minus t plus 2 into e power minus t. So just check Laplace transform of minus t e power minus t which will be equal to minus 1 by s plus 1 the whole square and Laplace transform of 2 e power minus t will be equal to 2 by s plus 1. This you have to remember. So here Laplace transform of impulse response means here Laplace transform of minus t e power minus t plus 2 e power minus t which will be equal to this one that is minus 1 by s plus 1 the whole square plus 2 by s plus 1. So if you simplify this your denominator will be s plus 1 the whole square. So numerator it will become minus 1 into s plus 1 minus 1 into s plus 1 plus 2. So this will become 2s plus 1 by s plus 1 the whole square. That is minus s minus 1 plus 2. So this will become 2s plus 1 by s plus 1 the whole square. So we have open loop transfer function that is given as 2s plus 1 by s square. So our open loop transfer function means which is equal to closed loop transfer function by 1 minus closed loop transfer function. So closed loop transfer function we have found out that is this one. So which is equal to 2s plus 1 by s plus 1 the whole square. This is your closed loop transfer function divided by 1 minus closed loop transfer function. So again this will become 1 minus 2s plus 1 by s plus 1 the whole square. So this is the thing. This we have to simplify. So how we can simplify this? So this will become 2s plus 1 by s plus 1 the whole square. This one you have to simplify. This will become s plus 1 the whole square minus 2s plus 1 by s plus 1 the whole square. So this we can write it as divided by s plus 1 the whole square minus 2s plus 1 the whole divided by s plus 1 the whole square. So again I was writing over here. So this will become what s plus 1 the whole square you have to simplify that a plus b the whole square which is equal to s square plus 2s plus 1. So and here you have minus 2s plus 1 so this we can simplify. So this term it will become 2s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 the whole square into this division we can just write it as multiplication of s plus 1 the whole square by this you have to simplify. So there you will get
s plus 1 the whole square s plus 1 the whole square minus 2s minus 1. So this one, this s plus 1 will get cancelled. So you will get 2s plus 1 by this you have to simplify. s plus 1 the whole square is s square plus 2s plus 1 minus 2s minus 1. This s square plus 2s plus 1 minus 2s minus 1. This 2s, 2s will get cancelled. 1 and 1 will get cancelled. So you will get 2s plus 1 by s. s square. So that is your open loop transfer function. 2s plus 1 by s square. So hope everyone it's clear. Uh, we just gone through what are the different types of feedback, positive feedback and negative feedback. Just we can have a look at this. That is your types of feedback, positive feedback, negative feedback. What is the equation for that? Uh, in, in positive feedback and negative feedback, you have unity feedback and uh, non-unity feedback. So in unity feedback, it is h, h of s is equal to 1. Non-unity, it is h of s is equal to minus 1. Then we have gone for the uh, closed loop control system diagram. So depending upon your feedback, it will change. If it is positive feedback means your equation will be 1 minus. And if it is negative feedback means your equation will be 1 plus. Then we have gone for a problem uh, for this uh, open loop and closed loop. So hope it's clear. Uh, so if you have any doubts, you can comment in my video. and. Please like and subscribe my video. Thank you.